Hello everyone, it's me Lipton once again. Hope everyone is doing fine. It's been so many months, I haven't updated any videos. So today uh, I will be updating a video of how I spend my day in field as a geologist. So by watching this video, you will get a glimpse of how I spend my day. And hopefully you will like this video and in the coming days, uh, if you have any suggestions of what type of video you guys want me to make, so please do comment. And for now, let's get started. Okay, we have reached one location and usually in most of my area uh, you will find exposure but in some places especially in agricultural field you don't find uh, exposure where what type of rock it is see this is whole agricultural field there is no single exposure here but recently they have dug one Bench. so here you are finding some exposure see these are the exposure see this is the exposure so I mean the trench right now and see and this is the exposure see so this is metal basalt and I'm walking in Sonakan greenstone belt so <coughs> this metal basalt it's highly weighted and it's foliated i've reached another location and it's a very big exposure here i'll show you what type of rock it is Okay, it's a very interesting one then because what I am seeing here is two rocks which is good for me so that I can show both the rocks in one location so see this is the rock this is the exposure as you can see and so this is the fresh rock you can easily identify the minerals you can see the pyroxenes you can see the plagioclase extensive quartz veins is present here so this is the meta vessel so these are usually enclaves within this cap roy these are all cap pro and like i told you these are the younger intrusive within the uh, intruded within the sonagan group of rocks actually it's good time to to feel at this time but for me personally oh, it's too hot for me so i can adjust but still this is the time where you find good exposure here before it was full of water now it's exposed so we can study and see what type of rock it is so oof. We are at the tip of the triangle. And the rocks out here are still in Gabro. And in at some places it becomes an autosetic. So the whole rocks out here are those Gabro. Let's see what I will encounter. Oh it's very steep. Uh, we 
have found a very unusual rock. Maybe this will be some concrete. So let's just try whether it will react with acid or not. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is all concrete. Oh, dalo zara. Kitna acha dekh raha hai. Oh, oh. Look at this. These are carbonate rocks. Concrete. We reach another location and as you can see uh, this is uh, metal basalt of uh, Bakbara formation uh, and here we can see banning site see this is how a banning site looks like people used to ban the soil here for gold I mean banning for gold and since it's a dry season, they are not doing banning here. But this is the, this is how they take out the soil from this place. This is the first order nala. I'm in the middle of the jungle, and what I'm seeing here is only metal basalt and some deformed pillow basalt. Uh, I will show you. Uh, usually these are all deformed pillow basalt and I can also see you show you the amygdala metal basalt these are all amygdala metal basalt these are the rock type you will see in Bakma formation and we are at the top of the hill and you are seeing the uh, Bakmar group of rocks. Uh, we have been walking for almost. Kitna kanda ho gaya? Ek kanda se zada to ho gaya ko. More than one hour in this deep jungle. Exhausted, so energy. I'm having banana. It's totally silent. You can hear only the birds. And some insects <laughs> and mosquito. <sighs> so satisfying. Oh, finally back to civilization after walking for more than three hours we have climbed this whole hill this hill from here it looks quite low in elevation but when you climb it's very steep and rough and those hill whole hills are metal basalt <sighs> we have reached one village i don't know what village is this let's see Mm, smells so good. Hey, what a chest smell are I? Finally. We have some like four or five spot which where we used to have uh, lunch. So today we'll be having here. Uh, because it's very quite calm and then even the place also it's quite good see look at this oh. 
the all these hills you can see we have already climbed and take traverse or in other words we have already mapped the area look how much we have walked this all these hills are rhyolite so i'll try to show you in next location uh, how rhyolite looks like here in my location We just have lunch and then now we came here to another location and like I told you I'll show you how a rhyolite look like in my study area. Before I walk here I thought that rhyolite will be very fine, reddish in color, very fine. Matlab, I've seen Malani rhyolite in Rajasthan uh, in Jodhpur so I thought rhyolite will be like that only but it's nothing. I will show you how rhyolite looks like in my field. the area as you can see it's coarse grain it's like so usually it's called as porphyritic rhyolite so which means it is undergone a little bit cooling before it came out mm -hmm. so see and here you can see sulfide as well a lot of sulfides see you can see sulfides pyrite by right also you can see some job go by right here not by right here uh, see re-ended see those are also fights so this is how a rhyolite looks like here also so you can see i just want to show you how smoky quartz winds look like um this is the smoky quartz winds. See? And we'll see if there's any sulfides. Look at this. Look at the view. It's stunning. The sun is already overhead. And we still have a lot of work to do. Wow. Wow. This looks so nice. It seems this plant, I think this flower is a medicinal plant. See. Kya, kisko deta ye? बच्चों को छोटे-छोटे बच्चे रहते हैं हमारे जैसे हैं उस बीच पे हां तो वो क्या होता है उसके तो वो वो पानी देसी लाता है इसको घी के साथ या ऑयल के साथ हां गरम कर इसमें खिला उसमें when you are in field, nature gives you so many surprises. And this is also rhyolite. And here you can see very distinct flow bending of rhyolite. See, you can see. And here you can see even the fall flow bending also got faulted. See. It looks so nice. See, 30 as you can see, <laughs> and it's done for today. Oh. <sighs> I've seen only metal rhyolite, rhyolite, foliated metal rhyolite, things like that. That's why I didn't uh, show you guys. But 
when we are going back we found a field of sunflowers so we will click for those oh my god look at that kahan se karna hai yahan se hi le lete hain na aise ha ye to aa raha hai wow just completed my field work and while going back i just saw them um catching this wild rat so i'm so curious how they used to catch so let's see Seems to have found the house. <laughs> mm -hmm. So they will put fire here, <laughs> so that the smoke will go inside and suffocate. <laughs> This smoke is coming out from here, so it's the same house. See. This is what I know. Ah, ah, are you sure? उधर देखिए सर आपका कितना निकल रहा देखिए उधर देखिए कितना निकल रहा So that's all for today. I have completed the field. We have done all the photo session, <laughs> and yeah, that's how I spend my day. So usually, like you have seen, like in field, you don't know what to expect. So it's always a new experience, new story, meeting new people, new places. So that's how we. to our feel and yeah hopefully you guys have liked my videos and please continue to support my channel as well so we're going back it will take another 40 minutes to reach uh, my field camp so see you thank you so much for watching thank you for giving your time bye take care